about him, preaching about the way and the truth and the life. Jesus Christ says, I am that way. I am that truth. I am that life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Listen, Jesus Christ is the answer to all your sin problems. And every one of you has a sin problem, whether you know it or whether you, listen, whether you're convinced about it or not. You're a sinner. Whether you're convinced about it, you will one day. Because one day, Jesus Christ says, one day he shall come with his mighty angels taking vengeance on them that know not God and who obey not the truth of the gospel. Listen, he's going to take vengeance on your soul, friend. I'm here to warn you to flee. And these men are here warning you. Warning, warning, warning to flee from the wrath of God. Listen, you're going to pay for your sins, sinner. You're going to, listen, you're going to, behold, be ready. You're going to meet thy God. You think you're funny, don't you? You think they're going to laugh. Don't worry, God will wash that little smile right off your face, some man. You know, it's kind of funny, you know, people think it's so funny. Listen, the preacher trying to preach seriously to your heart. I think it's a big joke. Well, let me tell you one, one thing. You listen, you end up in listen, if you end up at the judgment seat of Christ, at the uh, great white throne judgment, Amen. listen, God will wipe that smile right off your uh -huh. face. And you know what he all can do? He'll laugh when you're fear coming. You think it was funny. Well, how would you like God laughing at you? How would you like the God of all the other, the one who died for your sin? You're going to see him, don't you understand? You're going to see Jesus Christ one day. That's right. Face to face, you're going to see him. If you've never seen him here today, in repentance toward God, in face of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to meet him at your time. You're going to see him face, and his eyes are going to look right into your eyes. And he's going to ask you, what did you do? Have you ever done anything with me? Did you ever believe what the preachers were telling you? By that time, you know it's too late. You know you're guilty before God. And finally, the judgment has come upon you. And the book shall be opened. And the book shall be opened. And there is it. And you shall be judged out of all things written in the book. Listen, God, that's the idea I'm here to make you fear God. That's exactly right. Now you got it. That's right. The woman says something right. That Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fools despise wisdom and destruction. Listen, hell and destruction is never full. Therefore, the eyes of a man are never satisfied. He that hardens them shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. There's no remedy except for Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. From all our sins. Amen, preacher. Jesus Christ is that Lamb of God. And He wants to cleanse you from your dirty, rotten sin, sinner. He wants to oh, do ahead, something for your soul. He wants to do something for your own heart and for your family. He wants you to turn you from your unrighteous deed and your unrighteous act and your ungodly way unto the righteousness of God. So that your lives can live out the righteousness of Jesus Christ that is born again, born, born again in you. That is when the Holy Ghost the power of the living God comes to reside in your body. Hey, now what does that have to do with religion? Absolutely nothing. Like the guy said, man, I'm just a heathen. Hey, there's more hope for the heathen than there is for the guy that goes to church day after day and he listens to the preaching. Amen. Of God here and he doesn't know Amen, the preacher. of the living God. 
has been for him never to have known the ways of truth, that to have known them and turned from them. Amen. Like a dog, the Bible says, returning to its vomit. And a lot of you are just like that dog, returning to its vomit. You tasted and seen that the Lord is good, but you never, right. ever came to repentance for God. You Amen. Never seen your your sin. You had a Yours. little taste of Jesus, and Where you, you never turned from your sin. It never cost you anything, did it? Because it cost Jesus everything. It cost Jesus his life. <laughs> it cost Jesus, listen, to die for your dirty, yeah, no rotten sins with the like ones. he did for mine. It's got to be personal. You've got to make Jesus Christ personal in your lives and in your hearts. That's what the Bible's trying to teach you today, and we're trying to teach you from the Bible. That Bible says, listen, a great verse in the Bible, listen, in John chapter 3. Listen, about being born again from above. Listen, gee, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. You don't have to perish, but have everlasting life. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Neither come to the light that their deeds and some would say, well, I'm a good God. I've never done anything wrong. Listen, there's not a just man in all the earth that doeth good and sin and not. Your unrighteousness to God is nothing but filthy rags in the sight of God. Or your righteousness is nothing but filthy rags. Your righteousness, not God's righteousness. They're going about to establish their own righteousness instead of submitting themselves to the righteousness of God. When we receive Jesus Christ, he became the power of God in us. Listen, Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. That's why we preach on Jesus this Jesus of the Bible. But I'm coming here to warn you in these last days that perilous times are here. And there's many in these days that Jesus Christ has come for the forms of our sin. Preaching another Jesus in another gospel. Listen, if you've been listening here today, listen, if any other man or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel than these men have been preaching on today, they're cursed. Your churches are cursed. Listen, your preachers are, preachers are cursed. Your pope is a cursed individual. Because I know what he preaches. He preaches the lies of the devil. Listen, ye, Jesus said, he didn't say you must be baptized. He said you must be born again. Jesus Christ says that which is born of the flesh is flesh. You've been born once, folks. You understand that? Now you must be born again. What is that preacher that's born again thing? I'm telling you what it is. Listen, it is when you repent of your sin. When you see yourself the way God sees you. No good. Your mama ain't no good. Your children ain't no good. Your grandpa, grandma ain't no good. Your neighbors ain't no good. And especially, you're no good. You're no good to God the way you are. I'm no good to God the way I was. That's why I had to repent of my sin. Sinner. That's why you got to come to God and believe that He is. And He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Have you ever sought the Lord with all your heart? <laughs> and the, did you lean on, lean, lean on unto thine own understanding? In all thy ways, have you ever acknowledged Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Have you? Have you been changed then? Or did you just pretend that you done? You said some little mouth, some words like so many Christians these days, and you live like hell, you think like hell, and nothing's been changed in your life. You go to the, listen, listen, the whole idea is when Jesus Christ saves you, he turns you darkness on the light. That's why we're here, to open your eyes and to turn you from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that you may receive the forgiveness of your sins and an inheritance among us, sanctified by the faith which is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask Larry about if it. If Jesus Christ has sanctified you, just like all these preachers have been preaching to you, listen, come ye upon, come ye unto the Lord that you might be saved. Call upon the Lord. Everything Call upon everything. the Lord. But how shall they know if they will not hear? And how shall they hear without a preacher? 
How should they call upon him if they will not understand the gospel? That's why he sent us. For we're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God after salvation. And we preach to you the living words of the living God. Woe unto us if we preach not the gospel of God. The gospel, not a gospel. It is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.